Replace the origin at A for the simply supported beam with the load P in the middle. I want to find the internal forces and moments at X equals L over 4. The first thing to do is to draw a free body diagram of your whole system and identify what your external loads are. I'll have AY and AX and I'll have BY over here. By symmetry you can say AY equals BY equals P over 2 and AX equals 0. Or you can go through and solve the equilibrium equations. It's the same thing. In any case, what we have here is this beam where I have P coming down in the top and P over 2 going up on both sides. I want to know what's happening right here at X equals 2.5, or rather L over 4. So I have 2 L over 4s and 1 L over 2. That's my free body diagram now. Break the beam at that point. So my distance now is L over 4. I still have the P over 2 acting up at this point, but I do not have the P because I have not yet gotten to that spot on my beam. If you took the other half of the beam, then this would be L over 4 to get to P, and then L over 2 to get to the other P over 2. It does not matter which side of the beam you take. Put your internal forces on the beam using correct sign conventions. V goes down, M goes like this, counterclockwise, and N points axially out of the beam. If you do the other side, V goes up, M goes clockwise, and N comes axially out of the beam. In either case, whether you do the left-hand side or the right-hand side, you've got to have those sign conventions. Now, apply equilibrium. Some of the forces in X says N equals 0. Some of the forces in Y says V equals P over 2. And the sum of the moments at the break, I'm going to take the sum of the moments at the break there so that I can eliminate both V and N from my sum of the moments. I have P over 2 acting at a distance of L over 4 clockwise, and I have M acting counterclockwise. So I can say that M has to be equal to PL over 8. And just to make sure that we've got the right answer, let's look at what we would have on the other side. The sum of the forces on the other side in X is still N equals 0. The sum of the forces in Y says V minus P plus P over 2 equals 0, which gives us V equals P over 2. That's what we had before. And the sum of the moments, again, I'll take it at the break so that I can eliminate both N and V, gives me M, which is going clockwise, P times L over 4, which is also going clockwise, and P over 2 times 3L over 4, which is going in the other direction, equals 0. If you work that out, you get, in fact, M equals PL over 8. Notice that M is not equal to minus PL over 8 in one direction and plus PL over 8 in the other. That equal and opposite is taken care of by the sign conventions that you use when you draw your free body diagram. So our answer is N equals 0, V equals P over 2, and M is PL over 8. I don't have to give a direction for these forces because it's understood by the sign conventions.